Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I am honored to have Jim Barnett here with us, who is the color commentator for the Warriors. And not only that, but he was an NBA player with some serious moves. Now Jim, you want to get on the court here to show us a, a progression of moves that you can attack without the uh, before you dribble. Talk to us about what you want to do. Well, what I want to do today with you, Nick, and since you're a student of the game and uh, you're also an historian, so I thank you for reaching out for me, first of all. Uh, reaching out to me. Um, you know, I, I watch a lot of players today and there's such, such bad footwork and mm -hmm. so often. And you know, I've always maintained that success is measured where you are compared to where you could be. And you want to do things the right way. And you know, I, I just happen to have a couple of great coaches when I was young in my basketball world. And so I also played a lot of one-on-one -on -one with some of Jer Jerry Tarkanian college kids mm -hmm. and uh, who beat the heck out of me for a couple <laughs> of summers, but I learned how to play. Mm -hmm. And so I learned and developed a couple of moves. And really, I only had two moves you know, from a live dribble situation that I utilized in the NBA, one to the right and one to the left. And that's all you need. And the basic fundamentals, fundamentals are this. First of all, you want to catch the ball in an area. So you move without the ball and you come and someone's going to throw you the pass. You want to catch the ball in an area where what I call an A area, where you can take a shot without having to take a dribble. Okay. Because everything is predicated, predicated upon catching the ball in an area where you can take a shot without taking a dribble and also make a move so you can get to the rim on one dribble. Efficiently on one dribble. Maximum two dribbles. All these other dribbles just get you in trouble, more defense comes. So the first thing I do when I catch the ball, and I'm on the wing, all right, I'm a right-handed shooter. I like a left foot pivot foot, all right, because that puts my jab step out to the, my right foot mm -hmm. where I can go up into a normal jump shot right now. And all these moves, you want to be under control. You're going to utilize a live dribble here. I haven't wasted my dribble. You know, I'm not going to put it on the floor. I'm going to make my dribble work for me. And so my first move was what we call a, a simple rocker step. Everybody has this move. but there are a couple things you can do with it. When you make this first jab step, mm -hmm. okay, you don't want it to be too long, okay? Because you may want to have to go the other way. Maybe you can't take a jump shot when it's this long. So it's just a short little jab step and you're up on me. As soon as I make this move, you, you've got to not only move to the side, but you're going to make a move backwards that way. You have to. Right. Otherwise, I'm going to be gone, all right? From that position, if you go back even further, I can go up and take a jump shot right here, mm -hmm. okay? I'm on balance to do that. But here's the real key. Rather, when I start to go, I'm not pushing off my pivot foot and putting the dribble there because it's only going to take me to there. What I utilized and what I learned, and you've got to be very careful about this not to travel. As soon as the ball gets out of your hands, you can change pivot feet. And so essentially what I did as you step up here, I would maybe do a little rock and I would start to go and I push that ball and at that same time, my pivot foot would come up. So I'm going to really be going off my right foot, my lead foot. Okay. So you just stand still. Okay. I'll come to you and you'll see what it's, what it's like. <laughs> and that's how your first step is. So your first step, I'll do it in slow motion. I'll travel on this just to hold on to the ball. But your first, with my first dribble here and step, now I've got my hips and my shoulders by the man. So again, it would look like this. Wow. Okay. And, and I love, so let's, before we, uh, we don't want to overlook this, yeah. you have a little bit of a shoulder head fake yep. in here, right? Now, you're, you're, you're already quicker than I am, even, you know, even though you're older than me. It's amazing, but it's balanced. How old are you now, Nick? Oh, we, you know, I'm in the 40s or something. Okay, but, well, yeah, um, well, add 30 to that, because <laughs> I'm in the 70s or something. But, but anyway. I love the fact that it's not, I mean, it's not just simply like you're just going to go in one direction. Nope. You're adding a little subtlety there, which is key. It makes me have to move. I like, I like yes, I like to keep you guessing a little bit, and I, <laughs> yeah. a, little bit, a little bit of a shake, and you don't know when I'm going. And the key is... I don't even know exactly when I'm going, but he, my defender, will tell me when to go. And he also will tell me whether to go right or whether I go left. I don't make my mind up ahead of time. You've got to learn over repetition, and I'm talking about thousands and thousands of repetition, to read the defense and react accordingly. And your mind should be just like a little computer. Where are your eyes? My what eyes are, you watching for? My, I'm, I'm looking to basically your midsection and seeing, seeing where you are, okay. so, you know. That's crazy because I'm, I'm looking I come, at your midsection, right? Because I'm a yeah, defender yeah. and you're doing the same thing to read. So this is read and react offense. Yeah, it's just read and react. So I'm coming, you know. Oh, Jesus. That's amazing. It's a great so, move. Anyway, um, that's a rocker step to the right. Well, what do you do to the left? All right. Most people understand a crossover move. So they made a jab step here mm -hmm. and they want to go here. Now the weight is over your right foot. So to get a move to go that way, 
you have to bring all the weight back to your pivot foot, rip the ball through, what we call a rip through, cross, and take the step that way. All right? So, you know, I used to do that when I was in high school. And you come here, it's hard for me to do it anymore because I never do it, but standing right there, I traveled because right. I'm, I'm not used to doing that. Yeah. So it's here. Boom, yeah, that's it, right. Okay, that's the crossover move. Here's what, I, what happened with me, Nick. I had a coach in college who said, there's a move that a special player can do. He said, we had a player here a few years ago that had this move down. I'd like you to try it. So what we do here is, if you back up there a little bit, what I try to do is I go here, okay? I may go on that little rocker step. My left hand is holding the ball. My left hand is holding the ball, and I'm going to simply push the ball out of my hands. I'm going to still commit to the right side. I kind of set it up with like a little, little bad, you know, kind of what I call a half fake to the left. Yeah. And then I go hard, and I push that ball out of that left hand. I'm going to have you step right over there just to hold it for a minute. Because sure. to catch the ball, otherwise okay. it's going to go all over the gym. Down a little bit more. Okay, so the move is here, push the ball away from you, here, push the ball, watch my hands cross. If yep. you try to do this and dribble the ball over, it's traveling every time, they'll call it. So, look, and you notice I'm still going to the right. Now you can come back here because it just give me a little room. I'm gonna do the move and I'm gonna go pick the ball up. Okay. So I go here, 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 <laughs> and pick it up and go. Wow. Now let's so see, let's see if it works. It's hard to talk through. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. So, all right. Now you don't know which way I'm gonna go. You don't know, you still don't know. <laughs> see, I may be going that way. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, <laughs> now, I can't elevate anymore. But if, if you notice that, even at my age, I'm near the three-point line. What happens, there's a rhythm to it. If you can get this on the film. There's a rhythm, and when I throw it. I'm going to run and get it, and I'm going to take a few steps. And I'm going to pick it up off my right foot. I'm going to take a step with my left, so I have a natural one and a half step mm -hmm. to the basket. Even from here, I should be able. You know, years ago, I could get all the way to the rim on that. I won't today, of course, because that was years ago. But anyway, <laughs> so you, you got to move because I'm, I'm. If you didn't move, see right there, I didn't need to move to the left. I know you had me either I'm way. Yeah, okay. okay, so I'm going to move. Look at that. Now, and the finger roll at the end. That's still, that's still one dribble. Yeah. So again, you just stand right there. Okay. I'm gonna see, I'm out of wind, just stay right there. Sure. I'm gonna see, so. Yep, perfectly legal. Okay. Let's try it again. All right, I'm gonna jo oh. <laughs> It's awesome. I can't get over that. That's the move. Because you know, you see, it, I, it, it, you're adding that little extra in the beginning too. I'm on my heels before you yeah. even begin. There's no way that you can recover because I'm, my weight is all here. You know I've got to keep going this way and all of a sudden the ball is going there. Right. You know, the ball is going, and I should keep it, it's got to keep real low here. The ball is going there. And so, yeah. and then my weight is just ready to push off. My weight is ready to push off to go get the ball. I got it here. Okay. I'm just going to leave it right there in fact. So, my weight is perfectly placed to push off and go right. chase the ball. Now, this only works, by the way, against good defenders, which is pretty good if you're in the NBA. Because <laughs> they should be better defenders. If you're not a good defender, what'll happen is, you're not gonna go with my fake too much, right. okay? And I might bounce the ball off your foot. Mm -hmm. That's happened before to me, mm -hmm. even in the NBA, a few times. Maybe I try to rush it or whatever. But the key is, now you're guarding me, full, full, full come, just guard me. Any way you want, okay? I'm gonna step back here because you don't know what I'm gonna do and I don't either. <laughs> I thought you were going that way. I know. Don't guess. See? I, right. I don't know. There's another way. Ready? Oh, you didn't do that. I almost got it. That'll work sometimes too. Anyway, Nick, that's what it is. Well, so uh, that is the most, some fantastic stuff. Really, guys, I want you, as you get better at ball handling and working on your balance, this is a move you should definitely try. And also, keep us updated as it works because I know it will. Uh, and so thank you, Jim, for coming on and yep. showing us this. This is really, truly amazing stuff. Um, and don't forget, sports fans, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win? You win, Jim? I'm in. I love it. You know me. I love the game.